Yeah, I picked up the new Nordica Spitfire on P ski. Uh, this one, this, there's, uh, this is the 74 underfoot. Um, there is also a slightly narrower one, uh, 68 underfoot as well. So yeah, the Spitfire has been around for a long time, but this is a completely new ski for 23-24. What Nordica has done is basically they've put a wood core into the ski and then they've literally taken a saw and gone all the way down through the ski. And then they've, they've put a rubber layer in between the two wooden core layers, put it back together again. So actually what that does is it dampens the ski really, really nicely, but kind of keeps that liveliness as well. There's no metal plate in the ski, so it's designed for, I would say, strong intermediate piece skiers upwards. But, you know, actually, when I, I've just skied on really sort of different piece snow conditions, some hard pack, some softer snow, it really handled it all re nicely, really well. Like the grip on the hard snow was great. You'd think that there was a metal plate in there, in terms of the grip, really nice and damp, damp feel, and then easy to turn. Like, it doesn't like sliding too much, skidding. It's not a kind of rotational ski. It does like to carve, um, but actually, if you're sort of learning to carve and you want to improve your carving turns, then I'd say this, the Nordica Spitfire, this one, the 74 DC, because they do make two versions of this with a metal plate in as well, um, but the DC, without the plate, nice and soft, nice and easy to turn, but it still has that grip and control that you really want. And I had loads of confidence on the sort of hard pack. I wouldn't say it was icy, but it was very hard pack snow. And there was no problem with the grip coming around. So 650 pounds with bindings, which is a good price for a decent piece ski for a, you know, a lot of levels of skier. So if you're looking to buy your first ski, I'd say, and you're, you know, you've been skiing for a few years, like carving around on the piece, this would be a great option. I've just been on the Redster X9S in a 175, 65 mil underfoot, a really, really good ski for these beautiful crisp days in France when it's sunny and the snow is firm. Just a really solid piece ski. I've just been down. The control on the slope is really, really impressive. It's got these Revo shock plates, which really helps to stabilize the ski and control it in such a manner that once you have the ski on edge, it's excellent. Coming in at 1,090 pounds with bindings, it is a bit on the higher price, but you are getting your money's worth if you're really looking for that piece ski for any real conditions, really. So, Redster X9S, recommend it if you're high-level skier looking for piece skiing. First ski of the test for me, the Blizzard Thunderbird R15. It's uh, 76 millimeters underfoot. It costs 920 pounds with bindings. So it's quite a high-end ski price-wise. It is designed for expert skiers that really like to carve on piste. You know, 76 mil, I mean, I'd say for me, it feels really, really nice in the short radius turns. Really snappy, really responsive, sort of rebounding out of every turn. The, the grip on these skis was amazing. I mean, the piece conditions at the moment are good, but they're quite hard, quite firm, but they grip really, really well. Sort of open them up into longer radius turns. Really cruisy, but at higher speeds, I started to feel a little bit unstable, but then it was the first run for me of the day. So, you know, that might have something to do with it. They certainly liked to, to carve long radius turns as well, but I think they prefer the shorts. So quite a stiff ski. Um, there'd be a titanium plate in here uh, running through the ski. So it's quite stiff and you can really feel that on the slope. But if you like, if you're the kind of skier that really likes to sort of carve around and rip around, you, you, you love those short radius turns, then I'd, I'd recommend the Thunderbird from Blizzard. It's a brilliant ski. Yes, it's pricey, but you know, you're getting you're getting your money's worth with this one. So Blizzard Thunderbird R15, 920 pounds. With the Salomon Addict Pro Z12. Really, really good on P ski. Reminds me slightly of my 
slalom skis back in the days when I was racing. Just a really, really solid ski for on-slope skiing. If you're looking for that really performance-orientated ski, this would be the one for you. It's 12 meter radius. I've got it in 163 here. Just a really good slope ski. You're looking, if you're in a sort of higher level, if you're a higher level skier, and you're looking for these short, slalom, sort of snappy turns, this is the ski for you. So this ski is coming in at 780 pounds with bindings. So it's a really good price point for the ski that you're getting. A relatively good price for what you get. I've truly enjoyed it today, especially with these slightly more aggressive conditions with the recent snowfall that we've had. But yeah, Salomon Addict Pro Z12 is the ski for somebody who's looking to find their inner slalom skier. I've grabbed hold of a, a, a new classic, I suppose you could say. It's the uh, Vocal Deacon 72 uh, black version. Just comes in two colors. This happens to be the black version, the same ski as the redder one. Yeah, 72 millimeters underfoot. Classic kind of P ski aimed at expert, advanced and expert skiers that really want to kind of carve and rip up the piece. And it really does do that, this ski. I mean, I've, I have skied on it before uh, last year, really, really enjoyed it. So I did want to try it again just to kind of back that up and it did not disappoint. It is a 900 pound price point, including bindings. So, you know, you're not, it's, it's, it's high end price point wise, but for what you get, if you look at other skis around the market for the same kind of price, you're not going to be disappointed on the ski. It, it's a you know, it's got the, it's got a plate running through it, metal plate running through it. It's, it's, it feels like a proper, almost like a proper race ski, but it turns just a lot easier than, you know, say the full on race ski, obviously. Little bit of a tiny bit of a tip rocker up there uh, to initiate, initiate the turn. It's not a difficult ski to ski on, but unless you really are, you know, wanting to carve and ski at higher speeds on piece, probably not a lot of point in spending 900 pounds on the ski. But if you are you know, a good skier, maybe a ski instructor, former ski racer, whatever, you want a piece ski to cruise around on that's not gonna like make your life too difficult, but be really, really enjoyable, then the Vocal Deacon 72 is definitely a really, really great option. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed skiing on this. 900 pounds, <laughs> I mean, I guess I should enjoy skiing on it, right? But uh, yeah, check it out, Vo Vocal Deacon 72. And this one is Salomon Stance 80. So Stance is like an all mountain ski, basically 80 millimeter underfoot, 460 pounds with bindings. So, you know, good value for money ski. Kind of ski, I would say, that might work as your first purchase. Um, this is the women's model I'm skiing on, hence the colors. Uh, but the men's ski version, same ski, Stance 80, is exactly the same ski. So, women's and men's construction is the same. Fairly simple wood core construction. Um, no metal plate in there, but it does have some carbon going through the top, um, you know, in the core to kind of strengthen the torsional stiffness. It's an easy ski to turn. It's super easy, super light, very, very responsive. Also really grippy on ice. I mean, I pushed it a little bit harder and, you know, maybe at higher speeds on piste, it's not the most stable ski, but it's not aimed at that kind of skier. It's just, you know, it's a great all round ski for skiing the whole mountain. Take it off the side of the piece a little bit, 80 underfoot, it handles it. It's perfectly happy on piste all day long as well. You, you know, you don't need to uh, ski this off piste. So yeah, for a, a kind of entry level ski, 460 pounds with bindings, thinking about buying your first pair and you're the kind of skier that, you know, intermediate to advanced skier with parallel turns, starting to carve those turns on the piece, sometimes like to go a little bit off the piece into the fluffy stuff, definitely a good option. Yep, it's a Salomon Stance 80, 460 pounds.